Hey guys, Geno Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, we're going to continue on with our uh, uh, preserving hides using the alum solution. We're, uh, we've been having these soaked for uh, a week-ish, eight days. I don't know, I would tell you exactly how many days, but I don't know what today is, so I don't know. Eight days, nine days, seven days, somewhere around in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take our hides out of the, uh, the water solution. Kind of give them a little bit of a ring out as we go down. We want to save some of this water because we're going to try to reuse this solution to tan up some rabbit hides and uh, wherever else we get out the creek, coons, possums, whatever. Now that we've got it kind of wrung out a little bit, see some of the hair may come out. That's that was my fault. That was a skinning issue there, but. Uh, once the uh, once you have it kind of wrung out a little bit and uh, this hide is still wet There may be some hair coming out of it, but that's okay because it's not dried yet So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna kind of drape it over Our little stretching frame here. We're just gonna kind of drape it for now and let some of that water drain out uh, Until it's uh, a lot drier and then we'll, we'll stretch it on our frame here. So let me uh, Get my other hide here out and get it uh, hanging up to dry like that and then here in a little bit we'll uh, start stretching it on the frame and we'll go the next step so I'll see you guys in a bit okay guys so right before we stretch the hide here now is the time to kind of go over it and look at it and if you have any spots uh, where it's got little chunks of fat or tissue or anything left on it go ahead they should just peel right off uh, to clean up the hide it'll make working it later a lot easier I uh, remember in the first video where I was working the hide with the, uh, the scrapers and stuff, uh, trying to get this stuff off. As much of this stuff as you can get off uh, before it dries, um, the better off you're going to be when you start working it. And uh, like I said, most of this stuff should just go ahead and peel right off just like that. And also now whenever it, the, uh, the hide is still uh, wet and moist and workable is the time to fix any holes, uh, whether they be bullet holes or holes that you had if you get a little too deep while you're skinning or something like that you put a hole in the hide all we've got here is just a uh, one of these uh, what do they call them the suture needles the little curved needles and uh, this is some uh, artificial sinew that we got off of the internet uh, it's like a thread and yes it's artificial sorry I didn't work out and keep my own sinew somebody had to be like you used artificial you're phony it's stupid anyway now is the time to go ahead and start sewing up your holes before the hide is dried and shrink and doing that is just exactly what it is. You just take your needle and stick it through the hide and make your stitches and sew up your holes. like that, bring it through, down to the end, cinch it up, and we're going to do that with these all these holes, this hole and this hole, we'll sew them up, uh, as, try, we'll try to keep the stitches as small as we can, uh, just for the fact that you'll know, make it look better when you're working the hide, you'll have to be careful when you're working it not to uh, take out your stitches, but that'll help draw these holes together. So that whenever you uh, start working it and making it into something, you won't have a big hole in it and you'll be able to use the whole hide. So this is what we're going to be doing for the next few minutes. Is just sewing together the hide and closing up these holes. And I'm not a, you know, a, a, a taxidermist or a doctor or any of that kind of stuff. I don't know what the stitches are called. They are just making loops with the thread to close the hole. So there you go. So we'll get back with you when these are sewed up and uh, we're ready to go to the next step. Okay guys, so we've got the holes sewn up and we've got as much of the extra tissue and the little fatty stuff as we can pulled off and we'll, we'll keep doing that as we continue to work the hide a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of what they call break the hide a little bit which is just pretty much stretch it and work it to get it where it's real pliable. And you can do that by hand. You can just kind of stretch it Put your hand and work it and stretch it and work it. And uh, that's what you want to see. You want to see it stretching to where this, where it's like gray right through here. And then when you, after you're stretching it and working it, it'll turn to the nice white color, which is what you want to see. And uh, 
it'll take a little while and it'll take a little bit of elbow grease and it'll take a little bit of hand cramps but uh, it's well worth it to get your end product and sometimes too I'll show you a little trick that I do I'll take it over here to one of the porch posts just one of my uh, posts on my porch and I'll just take my hide like this and I can stretch it over that like that, just work it around that corner. Be careful not to tear it, rip your hide. Sometimes it's a little easier on the hands to do it like this and try to do it a bunch at a time. You can see how it's starting to turn white like that. A little bit of a time saver, a little bit of a hand saver. And you can use a little bit more of your weight to kind of stretch that hide out. You'll feel it stretching. But this will make it a little more pliable and easier to work with uh, whenever you start working it later on, scraping the rest of it and working it out. So this is our next step. This is what we do. Breaking the hide a little bit. And once we get it to where it's all that white color, then uh, we'll put it onto the, uh, the racks and start letting it dry. So right now we're going to stretch this out and uh, get it to where it looks white and broke and then we'll we'll get back with you okay guys so now we got our little wooden frame here I just built this out of some uh, scrap wood we had laying around from pallets and this and that whatever uh, you can use that is uh, a little bit bigger as you can see than your hide uh, and I just use screws that way we can pop the screws out and make it bigger and smaller as we need to um, now what I do you can use a sewing awl, you can use a pocket knife, whatever. But around these parts, we got a tree that we call the honey locust. And it's got these great big gnarly thorns on it. And we'll just clip a couple of these thorns off and then clean them up a little bit. And we can use these to go around and poke holes about a half inch or so in from the edge of our hide. We'll just poke our holes, that way we can hang it and dry it. And then we'll take just a bank line. I don't know. I don't know. It's 500 pound test or something. Bank line, and uh, tie it to the frame. And we'll go all the way around. And uh, well, that piece ain't big enough. So, but we'll go all the way around the hide, and we'll put a bunch of these on so that we can hang. Um, the hide up so that it, air can get to both sides of it and it can dry out nicely. So this is what we'll be doing for the next few minutes is tying up our hide uh, to be dried. Just like that. I just make a little square knot and we'll go and we'll cut more pieces of this bank line and uh, do it that way. So this is the next step for us. Take your hide, poke some holes with whatever uh, hole poking device you like to use. <laughs> ah, sorry. And then uh, run your bank line through it and stretch it out and tie it up to your frame. So that's what we'll be doing. And uh, when we get done with that, we'll show you what the finished product looks like whenever it's hanging and drying. Okay, guys. So here's our hide. Um, it's uh, on our little drying frame now. It's been stretched. We'll leave it dry for... I don't know, week, two weeks, whenever we get back around and get some time to uh, take it in the house and work it like we did in the first working video when we were scraping it on the kitchen floor. Um, but this is it. This is how we do it. And uh, like I said, this is my drying frame. I have another hide that we're going to put over on this side. Uh, we'll, we'll leave this out in the sun on the nice sunny days. And then at night, we'll bring it into uh, either the back porch or the house so that we don't want it to get wet anymore. We want it to dry completely now. Uh, because the uh, preserving stage is over and now is the time to work it and dry it and work it. So this is it. This is how we do our hides with the hair on. Nice looking hides. Very soft. It'll work out just fine. It'll, when we get through working it, it'll be nice soft, uh, nice soft skin that we, can, uh, that we can use to make something with. They'll last a long, long time. So like I say, now this is just the... Uh, the very first video that we did where we was working to hide, this, that's the next step. So, there you go. I hope this helps. Really easy to do. 
it's a good skill to learn and actually do because you can use these hides to repair lots of things or to make clothing or to make just mittens, gloves, whatever it is that you need. Uh, you can use hide uh, for that. Uh, in the next hide video, we'll, we're, doing, uh, we're doing a video, uh, a hide with the hair off and just making the, uh, the deer hide leather. But that'll be uh, a few days down the road and uh, we'll get into that one. So for the time being, there you go. That's how we do our highs with the hair on. I hope it helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a shot. If I can do it, you can do it. Have a great day. God bless. And the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.